In Oakland, a shakeup in the race for the city's next mayor. That lead shifted over the weekend, putting Sheng Tao ahead of Lauren Taylor for the first time since Election Day. NBC Bay Willina Jones has the latest on this tight race and how and how looks and she looks at how close we're to finally knowing who will be Oakland's next mayor. For the first time since Election Day, a new leader in the race for Oakland's next mayor, Councilmember Lauren Taylor, who won the most first place votes out of any candidate, is now trailing Councilmember Shing Tao by a few hundred votes in the ranked choice instant runoff. Extremely close. Uh, so, you know, feeling good. There's more numbers that are coming out later today, and so eager to see what those results are. We caught up with Taylor at the annual turkey drive at Orojo Viejo Recreation Center, distributing 450 turkeys ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. He says he remains focused on community as results continue to come in. This is uh, a huge need, but we also see that Oakland is stepping up in an incredible way. The lead change comes after nearly two weeks of counting and waiting, with still around 2,000 votes left to be counted countywide. According to the county, another 2,500 votes have signature issues, and those voters will still be given the opportunity to fix before the election is certified on December 8th. Tao's campaign said they're humbled by the shift, issuing a statement that says in part, we are optimistic that our lead will hold and that Sheng Tao will be the next mayor of Oakland. The election remains too close to call, and Taylor says when the final votes are in, a recount could be in order. But for now, he says he's trusting the process and staying patient. It would be great to know immediately. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case, uh, and I am grateful for our registrar's office and those who are working really hard behind the scenes to move things forward. In Oakland, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.